welcome to Annie's Craft Channel. My name is Rhonda and I'm also known as the Sparkly One here on YouTube where I do DIYs, knitting, crocheting, and all kinds of fun things. So if you're interested in joining me on my adventure, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below. I'd love to have you over there. And today, Annie's asked me if I would crochet these gnome Christmas slippers. And they're actually called the gnome slipper boots and they are just so cute. And here is the boot that I crocheted and hopefully I can make a second one to match, right? Because do we all know about that second sock syndrome where it's harder to make the next one? Well, hopefully that's not the case and this will make it a little easier for you if you follow the directions with me. So I am gonna show you a part of the pattern because you do need to order this on Annie's and they will send you the PDF download and it is um, a paid pattern. So once you get that pattern, get your supplies, your hooks and get ready to make this boot. Annie's also sent me these great magazines which are loaded with Christmas projects. You guys, you're gonna love these. This one's a Stash Buster Christmas. It has the most adorable hats and placemats and just adorable things. You're gonna love them. And look at that cute little elf in the corner. He is just so cute. This one right here is called Annie's Christmas and it has 50 projects in this one. There's quilting, crochet, knitting, all kinds of things. But my favorite is this right here. This is the reindeer quilt and it is all crocheted and it is so adorable. I cannot wait to make that. And as you can see, I've tabbed everything where I am going to be referring to to make all these adorable projects. And this one right here is called A Merry Crochet Christmas. This has a beautiful red afghan right here that you're gonna love. And it has a gnome right here too, where this gnome would go perfect with those slippers if you are into the gnomes this year. They have been so popular, and even last year, I remember they were really popular. So if you would like to order any of these magazines, they will all be in the description box, and you can go ahead and purchase those. I believe you can also get them as a PDF download. So if you would like those, don't forget to check that out. So, so let's go ahead and get started on the gnome slipper boots. And here is the photo. Look how cute those are. So I will be showing you how to do this green section and the sole of the slipper. So you're just gonna go ahead and follow the pattern according to the instructions for the hat, the face, and the white section right there of his beard. This crochet hook is a size J. I'll be using that instead of the K that's recommended in the pattern. You will need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and also a little stitch marker. So you're gonna have to measure your foot. I wear a size nine and a US size for ladies, and that's a 10 inch foot. So you measure the bottom of your foot and to the top of your toes and see how long your foot is. And then you go by the directions in the pattern. The skill level is easy. And then here's the finished sizes. So I am a size nine, and so that's the one I'm gonna be using in the parentheses. So the yarn that we're gonna be using today is the Premier Basics Chunky Yarn. That is a size five bulky weight yarn. And you can of course get these from Annie's. And we are going to be using the color sage, the color white. This is peach, but the pattern calls for linen. Um, but you can use either one. And then of course, this is the deep red. So these colors are so beautiful and so soft. Please pay attention to the pattern notes. It will tell you exactly what you need to know about the pattern. Here's the slipper so far. All you need to do is make sure that it goes to the tip of your toe before you continue with the sole portion. Okay, so I have finished this portion of the slipper and then on this very last stitch of the white, we are going to do a single crochet, but we're going to change the yarn to the sage. Just pull that through. 
Okay, in your last stitch you're going to do two chains and you're going to work back into that same space because you'll have a gap if you don't. So we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch around. There we go. Until you have 61 stitches, which is for the size 9 that I am making, but you can follow along with the pattern for whatever size that you're picking. So go ahead and go all the way around and one half double crochet in every stitch. I'll meet you when I get back around to the beginning. I just wanted to share with you too that when you get around to the point, yes, you're going to just do one in each one and it's going to start to curl up like that, but that's what you want because you want it to curve around the base of your foot. That's completely normal when you get around here, so don't be alarmed if that's starting to happen. So keep going. Now that I've come around to the back side of this, I'm going to go into the top of this chain two. I'm going to make a slip stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet in the same space right here. So just go back into that same space with a single crochet. And then from now on, you're going to single crochet in the back loop only of all of these half double crochets. Okay, so now I'm back to where I started. And all you're going to do is you're going to work in continuous rounds. So you're going to just go in each stitch with a single crochet. You're not going to go in the front or the back loop. You're just going to go in as a normal single crochet. You just do that all the way around. I'm going to do it for rows 3, 4, and 5 because I'm in the size 9 category. And whatever size that you are making, just go ahead and do the amount of rows that you need for your size. Okay, so go ahead and get a few stitch markers. So this is the edge where it's going to fold down and go down underneath your foot. So you have this big opening and all of these stitches right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease right in here to get it to come together. So what I want you to do is because the directions say do single decreases in the first two stitches. Now what I, I would like you to do because I think this will be easier is to go ahead and put a stitch marker here and then go over to the toe area right here and just follow the the stitches down. So you have seven stitches here. So you're going to have three on this side, three on that side, and this is your middle stitch. So I just want you to follow it down right to this stitch. And then go ahead and put in your stitch marker right there because, whoops, because this is where we're going to do decreases. So we're going to decrease in these two stitches and these two stitches. So that's going to help you when you get around to that area. You're going to decrease in the first two stitches. So that means that you're going to do a single crochet but don't pull through. And in this one next to it you're going to do the same thing. And you're going to have three stitches on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three. So that was your first decrease. Okay, so this is where we started. So we want to make sure that we leave this here. And then we're going to go around and we're going to do a single crochet in every stitch until you get to that center toe area right here. You're going to stop two stitches before because that's where we're going to decrease. So make sure that you just do single crochets all the way until two stitches before this marker. So I've reached two stitches before the marker. We're going to do the single crochet decrease. So that's where you put that in. You don't yarn over, you're going to put this one in, yarn over like that, and you're going to yarn over and go through all three. That's one decrease. And then go in to the center one with one single crochet, and take it out and put it into that chain right here that you just made because that's your center and we need to go around again and do the same thing. So then these next two stitches you're going to do the single crochet decrease which is just like that. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now you're going to go ahead and go all the way around back to this marker and stop two stitches before this marker. And I'm here at the back and then all I'm going to do is the single crochet decrease right here before that marker. 
So I'm going to repeat those rows three more times for the size that I have, and then you can just follow along with the pattern. When you're all finished with this bottom portion, just go ahead and whip stitch these all the way down and then sew that up. So all you're going to have to do is finish the nose, put on the eyes, and the little pom-pom, and you'll be all finished. And how cute is that? Thanks for joining us here at Annie's. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye. Also, don't forget to order these magazines. These are just so wonderful. You're going to love them. Mm -hmm.